You know me, there's nothing I like better than a good ad making fun of Donald Trump for his failures and his inadequacies. And this next one really shows that while for years it was infrastructure week, Biden did what Trump could never do. Secretary Chow kicked off Infrastructure Week with an event uh, with the U.S. Chamber of Commerce this morning. Infrastructure Week continues. We're actually calling it Infrastructure Week in this administration, and today I have the honor to kick off our very first summit. We call it Infrastructure Week. My administration is working every day to deliver the world-class infrastructure that our people deserve and, frankly, that our country deserves. We are here today to discuss the urgent need to rebuild and restore America's depleted infrastructure. We're going to get this infrastructure going. Joseph R. Biden Jr. is elected the 46th president of the United States. President Biden to unveil an infrastructure plan. So once in a generation investment in America, unlike anything we've seen or done. Breaking news right now on Capitol Hill, where the Senate just passed the $1 trillion infrastructure bill this morning with strong bipartisan support. After years and years of infrastructure week, we're in the cusp of an infrastructure decade that I truly believe will transform America. That's fantastically put together. It shows that Trump and Pence and all the people in the Trump regime talked about how they were going to get infrastructure done. Remember, Trump was like, I'm a businessman, so no one's going to be better than me, a businessman that builds towers at fixing our roads and bridges and all of the nation's infrastructure. Part of making America great again was making the infrastructure great again. At least that was the narrative. And as you see, it was under Biden and the Democrats that an infrastructure deal got done. And what was extra delicious in that video was Biden's own little joke. Biden makes fun of Trump, but he does so subtly. We saw it with the Tom Brady thing. We've seen it at other intervals. And here he does it where he said that, you know, this is infrastructure week. We got it done, the longest infrastructure week. And I think that really shows that the Democrats did something Trump could never do, which was pass functional legislation that wasn't about giving tax cuts to trillionaires and billionaires and millionaires. But let's be clear. I want to, you know, before we all celebrate this, I do want to make a couple points. One, you know, Donald Trump could still come back to power and these sorts of ads while pissing him off are likely going to just encourage him to be even more vindictive and corrupt if he ever does get back into power. And we also have to remember that this is only part of the infrastructure package and only part of Biden's agenda. And I don't want people to get complacent. Progressives need to keep on putting pressure on right-wing Democrats who are trying to back away from Biden's agenda. Because don't forget, the really good stuff, the absolutely crucial stuff that will make America better for the working class is in the $3.5 trillion stimulus package, which needs to pass via reconciliation. Something Trump could have never done and never even wanted to do. So this is fantastic to see. You love to see Trump and his failures get mocked. You love to see something that Trump tried tried years to do absolutely get done in a few weeks under Joe Biden, more or less. But don't forget, mocking the Republicans isn't a substitute for good social legislation. And for that, the Democrats need to ensure they have solidarity and the right-wing Democrats don't sink good legislation supported by the American working people.